And Governor Parson tells us as long as hospitalizations are manageable and testing continues across the state, he feels comfortable with where Missouri stands. ABC 17, Zach Boetto is live in studio. Zach, both Governor Parson and a local doctor you spoke with share concerns surrounding the virus, but the Lake Area doctor says he's now seeing a rise in new cases and hospitalizations. Lucas, Dr. Segna says if you look at where we are not getting vaccinated here in our state, those areas are also seeing an increase in cases. Governor Parson says although we are seeing these new cases, the state is working to get people tested and more people vaccinated. COVID-19 we're going to deal with for a while. We just got to make sure we're prepared for it. A new report says Missouri now leads the nation with the highest rate of new COVID-19 cases. However, Governor Parson says with vaccines and testing available, hospitalizations and deaths should remain low. Dr. Zanga with Lake Regional Health System says it's clear why certain parts of the state are seeing a surge in cases. The infection rates are mirror image of the vaccination rates. It's very interesting. So where you don't have vaccinations, you have hot spots or increased infections. So, so it's, it's crystal clear. Here's what those visuals look like side by side from the state health department. Dr. Senga says the new cases charged by the Delta variant are hitting people under 65, especially young people. He says this is a cause for big concern, but he feels his team at the hospital is prepared to handle this next variant wave. I think it's causing the same degree of harm that the previous variant caused. So, so I'm, I'm very concerned about what's happening. Lisa Cox with the State Health Department says it's working on an aggressive public education effort to encourage Missourians to get vaccinated, but the department thinks Missourians are still a bit skeptical about getting vaccinated. Lucas, back to you. All right, Zach, thank you. Lisa Cox says the state is exploring incentive options to get people vaccinated.